Good evening and welcome to tonight's discussion board uh, covering Christianity in modern America. I will be discussing the influence of Francis Schaeffer upon Christian leaders throughout the 20th century. Um, he, as a young man, he was converted to Christianity while in college at Hamden, Sydney in Virginia. Afterwards, he married his wife, who was very much influenced by the teachings of J. Gresham uh, Machen, and she encouraged her husband to further his studies under Machen at uh, Westminster Seminary. After college, the two decided that they wanted to enter into long-term missions and headed for Europe. While in Switzerland, uh, they opened up their home uh, to travelers who would come and discuss uh, philosophical and religious um, ideologies. And this became very much a popular movement upon, uh, amongst travelers to come to their home. So um, the Schaefers changed the name of their home to La Brie, which means the shelter, and the shelter really became a point where people could come and uh, have open discussions, learn from Schaefer about um, art and culture and things of that nature, as well as uh, integrating the religious side of things. Um, as their popularity grew, uh, their funds consequently dwindled. And so, um, but Schaefer believed that in order to live out your Orthodox Christianity, you needed to be hand in hand with uh, love, demonstrating love to everyone, despite what their religious or philosophical views are. And so they returned to, uh, returned to the United States with that in mind to really open, um, open up Christianity, uh, not just staying in their separatist groups of fundamentalism or evangelicalism, but to really encourage these groups to open up their arms uh, and their homes and their hearts to people of, uh, to all people, whether they were drug addicts or hippies or anything of that sort. Um, his son, Frank, described his father not so much as a religious man, but as a man of art and culture. Um, he believed, his father believed that in order to reach all people, you needed to really speak the language of the 20th century. And this is not unlike how Jesus taught, is that we need to become uh, weak to the weak and poor to the poor in order to bring them to, uh, to salvation. In America, he started to see that humanist thought and ideologies were uh, entering into the Christian church. And he saw that as a as moral decline within the church and, and eventually within our society. This really, uh, his whole view really changed in uh, January of 1973 when you had the Supreme Court decision of Roe versus Wade and uh, legalizing abortion. Uh, he encouraged Christian leaders to use their pulpits uh, to influence the people, influence their own congregations to get out there and vote and become active within the political society. Uh, he was very influential uh, to Dr. Jerry Falwell and Dr. Jerry Falwell because of, because of the influence of uh, Francis Schaeffer he went on to join, uh, to found the uh, Moral Majority, which went into churches and registered voters and encouraged the people to get out there and become active in politics. Um, Schaefer influenced the Conservative Party by way of the pastors. Uh, he believed in order to be a good citizen of um, the kingdom of God, you needed to also be a good citizen of the country in which you lived in, and that is becoming politically active within the country to make sure that the uh, that God's laws are upheld, and um, even if that means going against um, the things that are going on in the world at that time, but we needed to be protectors of God's law. 
his influence again influenced uh, he, he did influence Jerry Falwell which began the moral majority um, and so evangelicals really took a stance throughout the 1980s and and really changed the um, way that politics was conducted and they got involved in their public life so uh, and again that's all to the influence of uh, Francis uh, Schaefer thank you